In this video, I wanted to go over just a real basic kind of reminder for folks as far as if you can't find something in the interface or you swear that you installed something with Maya, but it's not popping up, what can you do to go in and make edits to the interface and the software package itself? Now, this is actually something that you can edit along your main menu bar here. If you recall, whenever you're working along the main menu bar, up through the Windows drop-down window, you have the whole entire UI will stay the same. Any of the elements afterwards will change based on your sets here. So the Windows is the big choice for you here. And one thing that folks will often forget about is you have a settings preference flyout menu that not only can you change as far as uh, preferences in general to the software, but also the plugins as well. So just to go over real briefly and show you some of the preference options, these are some things like, for instance here, you have on the left-hand side the different categories as far as your display options, but also as well you have sub-options that you can come in and edit as far as your views are concerned. So you have a lot of different options here. Like for instance, because of the videos and the screen resolution that I use, you do have an interface scaling option where I use custom scaling. Also too, you know, you can come to rendering and you can show, for instance, because I do a lot as far as Arnold, I set my default to Arnold, but you can come under the drop down and switch this out if you prefer. So that's just kind of showing you preferences. But let's say though that you're wanting to work with maybe a plugin that, well, I swear that I installed it, but I'm not finding it you can often go under settings and preferences and you can navigate through the different plugins that you've installed. Now, I'm going to go ahead and extend out this window here because honestly, it's a lot that you have here. And more specifically, you have items that do you want to auto load them or do you just want them loaded for this one uh, instance of Maya? So to give you a for instance here, like notice that fur is not active. I could tell it to load it, but not auto load it for the overall software package. And you can see here all of the different fur elements. But one thing that I want to also show you is while you have this laundry list going on here, as you scroll down, you get more into things such as, for instance, Bifrost maybe I want to say loaded and I want to auto load all of the Bifrost plugins. That way then whenever I am ready to go ahead and work with Bifrost, I have all of the different assets ready to go. And then I can do a quick refresh and close out. And you can actually see now at the end of my bar here, my Bifrost is now active and added into my interface system. So in closing, those are some of the things that I just wanted to point out is don't forget about your Windows drop down menu. Not only can you go through and do things like work spaces and general editing, but really that system slash preferences section is huge as far as being able to make the Maya interface and also updating and enabling plugins your own.